Mist Valley Arts and Entertainment. Passion Burns. Help us be a bonfire for your soul. Good day, everybody. It's been a while since I posted a sporting video on my site. My apologies. So here's one now, and I think it's a good one. I'm calling this one Sports Talk with Dread. Broberg is Bouchard. Edmonton Oilers thoughts and news. First of all, my congratulations sincerely to the Vegas Golden Knights on their Stanley Cup win. Well deserved. I got nothing more to say about it than well deserved. Congratulations. So now on to some fascinating, at least I think hopefully you'll find this fascinating, Edmonton Oilers talk. I certainly do. I have been hearing a lot of online chatter about Oilers defenseman Philip, Philip Broberg in the last few days. Some people are suggesting he might get traded. Others are wondering if he could be a top 4D or not in the NHL, and lots of people wonder how he can get ice time on this deep Oilers team defensive unit. Look, the answer to all of this is actually really simple. Listen to Ken Holland. He's the Oilers' general manager. He's the man with a plan. He is guiding the organization, and he knows his way around the sport of hockey. He has experience. So what does Ken Holland say that might help us figure out the future, both immediate and long-term, for the young Swede, Philip Broberg? There's a recent article on OilersNation.com, and I will link this article in my description below. And when asked about Mr. Broberg, here is what Ken Holland had to say. I've been talking to Jay Woodcroft about him. I believe Jay Woodcroft, Dave Manson, and I all think he has the potential to be a top four guy. Now, saying all that, you've got to play. To play better, you've got to play. When you've got Darnell Nurse on the left side and Matthias Ekholm and Brad Kulak, they're pros, it's a dilemma. I don't really have an answer for you right now. That's what I've got to sort out in the next couple of weeks. But being in the seven hole, playing five minutes, I don't know that that's doing much for his development and growth as a player. He needs to play 15 to 20 minutes. That's the downside. The upside is it sounds like we've got a pretty good defense. Those are bad problems. Those are good problems. Over 82 games, you probably need seven defensemen, and everybody gets their ice time. But he needs to get in the lineup every night. He needs to play every night and feel important. That's how young people grow. I feel really good about our left side D. He can play right. I think he's most comfortable on left. Broberg's development and growth weighs on my mind on a regular basis. So let that all sink in for a moment. Ken Holland knows he has his work cut out for him, finding a proper place for this highly thought of young hockey player. Now, some people will say that this quote proves that Ken Holland will eventually trade Broger to another team for his own developmental good. But wait, not so fast. You need to continue to hear more of what Ken Holland has been saying lately. In yet another article, this one about Evan Bouchard, here is what Ken has to say. And again, the link to this article is in the description down below. Go read it for yourselves. And I quote, I understand the age of our group and the core of our group, and it's all about being the best we can be for a cup run. Absolutely, you have to consider Bush, Evan Bouchard, a part of the core. That's why I traded Tyson Aberry away in the Eckholm trade, Holland said. He was ready to step up for a greater responsibility and role. For me, a core guy is a legitimate top four defenseman, and you also look at the age. Ekholm and Bush were a fabulous pair. Bush is 23 years old. Now, listen to this part of the quote again. You have to consider Bush a part of the core. That's why I traded Tyson Berry away. And just after that, Ken says this doozy of a line. He was ready to step up for a greater responsibility and role. For me, a core guy is a legitimate top four defenseman. Let's compare what he has said about Bouchard, whom he moved a veteran defenseman for in order to get him the ice time he needed to further development, 
And then look at what he says about Broberg. He considers Bush a part of the core, and he considers him a core guy because he's a legit top four defenseman on the team. When it comes to Broberg, Ken plus the coaching staff all feel Broberg is on the cusp of being a top four D for the team. Now, they need he needs development still, and he needs development through ice time. Consistent 15 to 20 minutes every game. Okay. All right. Think about those, though. That's the same spot that Broberg's in that Bouchard was just in a couple years ago. Remember when Evan couldn't get into many games, and often what he did, he had limited ice time? So, seeing as Mr. Holland thought so highly of Bouchard, what did he do then? He traded a player to open up ice time for Evan Bouchard, who then rewarded the team by eventually displaying much more of his potential. Now, in the interview question about Broberg, Ken says that he is in a dilemma. How do you think the Oilers GM will fix this dilemma? Trade a guy they see as an up-and-coming future top 4D on the team? Or perhaps you open up more ice time for him by trading a player like, say, Brett Kulak. Brett's right above him on the depth chart at left D. If you're not trading Nurse, that's impossible. Stop suggesting that. It's not happening. You're, you're not trading Ekholm. You just picked him up. He loves being here. He's awesome. He's actually probably better than Darnell Nurse is as a hockey player overall, especially defensively. You're not trading him either. How are you getting Broberg some time? You're, you're moving Brett Kulak. You're not putting Brett Kulak in, on, uh, on the bench in the press box. You're moving Brett Kulak, who has shown this last year, at least the last half of it for sure, that uh, when put on a third pairing, he could be very good. But you don't want to block Philip Broberg, who, with the ice time from a third pairing for a year, will hopefully be getting ready to move up into the top four. Now, how do you get the top four? That's going to be Scott's later, but Eckholm will eventually retire. Or you will move him eventually into a right, right spot where uh, Cody Cece is right now. But that's, that's for the future. We're worried about this next season. See, I think that this is the play here. Ken even says that Broberg can play right D, but that he is most comfortable on the left side. As good as Kulak has been for the Oilers, at least for stretches of his time here, I think his days in Oilers silks are numbered. And part of that is because people will want him. I think Ken is working on a trade to move out Kulak and let Philip Broberg slide into the left side of the third pairing on a nightly basis, likely playing with uh, DeHarnay to start the season. Although I do expect Ken Holland to sign one or maybe two veteran older defensemen for league minimum. Guys who can help mentor the younger guys, be good and valuable teammates both on the ice and in the dressing room, and slot into the lineup when injuries occur without hurting the team. But not players who will vault over developing players like Broberg and push them back into the press box. That defeats the purpose and stifles a player whom they clearly think highly of. Ken Holland is the man with the plan. Listen to his words to find out what will happen in the near future. If you are still confused about this, just remember, Broberg is Bouchard. Thank you all. This has been Sports Talk with Dread. Enjoyed our time together. Check out all the links down below. Catch y'all later. Bye-bye.